first I would like to introduce myself formally. Yat Asia Dina, Michelle Infield Yunish, Yat Kachin Inchla, Sinajini A Bashi and Tohana Eda Chute, Twitchini Eda Shanala di Hut out in Inchla. So what I said were my clans in Navajo, and this is how we are related, much like the last names of the Europeans. <clears throat> and so I just wanted to add a little bit about um, some of my history, some of my culture, and some of my beliefs, which once were until the infiltration of religion when colonization occurred. Uh, we did have five genders in my tribe. Um, I'm Diné from the Navajo Reservation. And so we have the whole spectrum from masculine to feminine and anywhere in between. And b given that heritage, were people accepting of your transition? Traditionally, historically, yes. But like I said, with colonization, our beliefs have been changed. But your, your experience, what was your experience? Like, did that some people accept? That is my experience. That it was so no good, not good. My experience, I know the traditional ways and I know the um, more um, modern ways. I'm very bicultural. And so growing up, there was a conflict because there were generations that really uh, um, understood the traditions and the beliefs, but then there were um, other generations that followed that did not necessarily see it because of religion. See, I, I think that's, um, I don't want to use the word confusing, but I know there are people that will hear that and will not understand how gender can be separated into five categories. And it's not intolerance, but it really is just, you know, we, we're conditioned to believe you have a penis, boy, you have a vagina, girl. Even at this point, we can almost un start to understand, some people out there can understand, you know, not feeling like you belong to that said penis or that said vagina. But then to then, I don't understand how it goes into five different genders. How are those determined and how are those I don't know. I, just, well, I don't even know the right question. Right. So, Vanessa, you brought this up earlier, and I think the number one cause of violence is because people confuse sexuality with gender. Mm -hmm. And a lot of men are, when they are attracted to trans women, society does not accept that. And so that's why in traditional values and beliefs there was gender, there was a spectrum.